Hello modding fans, welcome to the Whisperers Modding Group. Now we launched our Saints and Sins VR mods the other day and you guys love them. But we also promise that we will teach you how to mod this game yourself. So welcome, this is step one of how to mod Saints and Sinners. Textures, start off something nice and easy and I'm going to talk you through it step by step. But you've got to promise you're going to share what you do with us. Go onto our Discord, the link will be down below in the description and show us what you can do okay you ready let's go before we start you're going to need some uh, equipment you're going to need the unreal mod unlocker installed ready to go you're going to need to know where your game directory is you're going to need photoshop or something very similar unreal engine 4.26 u model or f model if you don't have Unreal Mod Unlocker installed and you don't know where your game directory is, do not panic. Just jump down in the description and have a look at my how to install mods on Saints and Sinners video. It will talk you through that step by step and show you where to get it. Photoshop or something similar should be quite simple for you to get. Unreal Engine is free. All you have to do is go on Google Photoshop or similar should be nice and simple for you to get. Unreal Engine is free, so do not panic. All you need to do is jump on Google and type in Epic Games Launcher. Download the launcher and you will be presented with something like this. And all you need to do is go over to the Unreal Engine, then to the library, then go down and install 4.26. Okay, that's all you need to do. It'll be in this little drop down menu here and just install that. It might take a little while, but don't worry, it's worth the wait. You can use U model or you can use F model. It doesn't matter, it's whichever one you prefer. Um, for these textures, I like to use U model because I know it quite well. If you want to download that, I'll put the link in the description for U model and F model so you can have a play around with yourself. But in this demonstration, I will be using U model. I've had no problems at all with it. Uh, I find it nice and easy to use. So go in the description, click on the U model link and download either uh, the Windows version, which I'm going to presume you're on, or you know, you may be on Linux, download that. Download and open up the folders. Once you're inside the uh, UModel directory, click on the 64EXE and run the program. You will then get a box like this, and it's asking you for the path to the game files. What you need to do is go into your Saints and Sinners game folders, and you want to go into TWD, Content, and then Packs. Copy the directory and place that inside of U model. Nice and simple. Press OK. It will then do some stuff in the background and then you will be presented with what's inside the game. I know, good, right? All you then need to do is go into content. Now we are going to mod, um, let's say, a weapons texture, something nice and simple, but this works with every single texture file. So get creative, have a play around, but please remember. Please keep it nice, no racist stuff, no nudity, nothing like that because SDI will just shut us down immediately. Please keep it creative and try and you know keep it semi-professional like the game is. Uh, if you can do that, that will be great. To find the weapon textures, all you need to do is come down to interactables. Open that up and then open up the weapons. Yes. These are all the weapons, and you may see there are a few surprises in there. Um, but don't go freaking out and throwing it all over the internet because these are just test files that they've left in there. Um, we've spoken to SDI, and there, there's no big secret about it. Um, everyone knows about it, well, especially us, so don't uh, you know get carried away. What we want to do is let's do the Beretta, because I like the Beretta. All right, click on that. And then these files here are the Beretta's texture file, okay? These files down here are the Beretta's bullet file for uh, the texture. So if you want to change the bullets, you can do that. These files here are the Beretta's skeletal meshes, okay? These ones, uh, the broken one 
and all the other ones. We're going to talk through that in more detail in another video. All we're doing today is the Beretta texture files. So what we're going to do is double click on that. You will get a little pop-up box that basically wants to ask you what version of Unreal Engine um, is used for this game. Now you want to go down to 4.26, click on that and then click OK. This box will then pop up showing you exactly what the texture is. Now we need to export this texture so we can actually do something with it. So go up to tools and then export current objects. Your model will then ask you where do you want to store this export. Now it will come out in U model, U model export folder, or you can create your own by just clicking on this little box here and choosing exactly where you want it. As soon as you know where you want it, click on OK. Mine is now exported, so all you need to do is click on the U model export, interactables, weapons, and the Beretta M9, and there is your file. Now, if I double click on mine, it'll automatically open Photoshop because that's what I've got linked to it. So just make sure you've got something tied into it. Or you can just open up Photoshop, then just go File, Open, and then just search for it that way. Nice and simple. It will then load in. Now all you got to do is just edit, do whatever you want, um, play around with it, make it look pretty, literally whatever. What I'm going to do is something really nice and simple and I'm just going to make it one colour for you just to show how easy that is. Now what colour to choose? I reckon something like this because um, I feel that's very very fetchy. We're just going to colour the whole thing in. Now you don't have to do it this way, okay? You can get really really creative and um, go for each individual bit okay, of the gun and go really 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 textured and make it look really nice like um, this one that I've done which is my Axeman Sucks Guns. Um, I made it all nice and detailed with the bits and a bit of writing and then um, just put it on a nice black background uh, and it made it look really nice and shiny. But today we are doing the pink gun. Okay, once you've done that, all you need to do is go up to File, go down to Save a Copy. Okay, very important, Save a Copy. Then you want to make sure that the TGA file is clicked and you want to make sure you name it the same. Now you can either just overwrite this file or save that file in another folder, okay? But this file needs to be named the same. So I'll just double click it, click yes, okay, and that is now saved. Now hopefully by now your um, Unreal Engine has been installed and you want to launch 4.26. Now I have loads of projects that I'm working on at the moment, but just for you, I'm going to start a brand new one so you know where we are. So click on um, Games, because that's what we want to do, a game. Click on Next. Uh, you, now you can do whatever you like, blank, first person, you know, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it, it, because we're just going to use it to cook files at the moment. So you can click on blank. But what I want you to do is make sure when you save it. So I'm going to save mine in my mod tutorials. Uh, over here. And I'll just create a new folder. And I'll pop it in there. Okay. So uh, desktop mod tutorials. Unreal. My project, please name that TWD, just like your files. Once that's done, click Create Project. Now, once your project is created, please don't go panicking and go, oh my God, there's quite a lot to actually take in. Don't worry, we're going to make it so simple for you. Now, first thing you're going to do, see this content right here? You want to make sure everything starts in here. So, do you remember your texture file that we just modded? I want you to go to that and I want you to go to the start of it, okay? So, U model export is pretty much the same as the content folder here, okay? So, U model export 
is the same as content. So what I need you to do is drag the interactables and then pop that into Unreal. Once that in, it will create all the folders for you. So you have interactable, you have weapons and you have Beretta. Okay, nice and simple. That's how we want to keep it. We now need to cook our lovely pink pretty cake. First of all though, you're gonna to wanna to save. So save current and then click on save all. Then just click save selected and you are good to go. Then go up to the top, go to file, cook content for windows. It will do um, some little noisy things and it will start baking that cake for you. Obviously it's not a cake, it's a file, but we like to use cake because cakes are good. Oh, cooking's complete. I can't cook a cake that quick. Oh my God, I can't believe I said that. Now go into your folder where you saved uh, your Unreal project. So for me, Unreal. TWD. Now you want to go down to saved, then you want to go to cooked, Windows No Editor, TWD, and then content. Remember, content here is where all the files are stored. Click on content, interactables, weapons, Beretta, and there is your file ready to go into the game. Just go back to uh, content, because this is the file you're gonna want, interactables. What you need to do is this. Go back into your TWD folder, content. Now, if you see here, it says save to cook the TWD content. This content folder is the same as this content folder here. This is the game content folder. This is where you want to put all your files. So you can literally, you see my, interactables is here now so if i click on that and then i click on this you'll see weapons and you see i've got weapons up there this is the game folder for saints and sinners this is my cooked folder for um, unreal so if i click on weapons and i click on weapons there and i click on beretta then i click on beretta there now this is at the moment my um, axe man so what i'll do i'll just create a new folder for that uh, just name that Axe Man Sucks folder. And then I'm just going to drag all of this into it like that. Make it go away. So it's there if I want to use it another time. I'm then going to select all of the Beretta folders. And I'm going to drag them into my uh, Weapons Beretta M9 folder. Now, that is it. I should have a pink uh, Beretta. Shall we take a little look-see? Of course we can. Give me one tick and I shall boot the game up for you. And there it is, your pink Beretta. Um, just like that. It, it's not all, you know, really bright and pink, but that's a simple tutorial on how to mod the Beretta. Um, start off like that and make nice, subtle little changes to make it look beautiful um, i'm also going to show you how to do the plasters the tattoos which are very very tricky uh, and also i'm going to show you how to export the actual uh, skeletal mesh of the gun so you can get more detailed textures on this anyway i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please drop some comments down below and um, i'll see you again real real soon thanks for all your support Love you loads and goodbye!